Well, what up, friends? Clayton here, Steam Next Fest, and we are checking out a cute, cozy looking game. It is called Cupid Island. It is a cute life simulator about bringing couples together and nurturing their relationships. As a Cupid, you'll discover many different couples and help their love stories. Build, customize, and expand the island using love, joy, and passion produced by the lovely residents. This game has a planned release date of January 2024, but no exact date. But you can check it out on Steam. It is part of the uh, Steam Next Fest. Um, but if the demo isn't available after the Steam Next Fest, you should add it to your wish list. Keep an eye on it as well if you enjoy cute, cozy games like this. We are going to start a new game here, a uh, Cupid name. Oh, I guess I can't go with Clayton, because that would just be awkward. Uh, let's go with one of my rogues from World of Warcraft. I'm going to call it, uh, call this character Shadiro. Island name. Cupid Island. We'll keep that as the same. That's fine. I am a Cupid. I spend my days making couples with the help of my love arrows. It is a simple existence, but I enjoy it. What happens after you bring a couple together with your Cupid arrows? Have you ever thought about it? I don't know. They live happily ever after? I wish it was that simple. Human relationships are far more complicated than we imagine because humans are guided by their emotions. We angels are guided by our duty. And what is your duty? To collect love from humans, for it is the basis of our existence. Exactly. This is your only duty as a Cupid. Never lose focus on that. Already with the cuteness. Yawn. I didn't sleep a week, a wink last night. Today is my first day living here on Cupid Island. I hope that I adapt well to life here and that everything goes smoothly on the job. <laughs> Got the little halo on the head. You can open this. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Magic bow. Uh, shoot chatting people to make them a couple. I will take that. We could sleep. I shouldn't sleep right now. I need to pull the island and get to know my duties around here first. Okay. Can we interact with all of them? This little plant pot is currently empty and strange. I can't seem to plant anything. What should I cultivate here? This is my new diary. There is still nothing written on it. Oh, look at that. We got the wardrobe here. Oh, you can change your character's name even while in the game. That is pretty, pretty cool. So we've got a bunch of eye features here. Very cute. Oh, we'll give it that eye. Uh, what color eye should we give you? Whoa. Intense. Let's stick with the blue. It's kind of cute. Eyebrows here. We got different hairstyles. Absolutely adorable. Find one with long hair, because I, in real life, also have long hair. Uh, what is this? Oh, I don't like that. Uh, bows. We got bows here. Uh, let's go with uh, one that would complement her outfit. So we got blue. That color's fine. We should uh, change the hair color as well. That matches. Oh, I like that one. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? Glasses. Different color frames. We'll go with no glasses. Uh, clothing, attire, different types of shirts here. Very adorable. Oh, I like this one. I'll go with that. Actually, you know what? I want to change it up. We'll go with a red bow there. Uh, black bottom. Shoes will be black as well. Bag? White? White. Uh, yeah, I think that complements well. Maybe gray. Gray. There you go. Uh, what do we got here? Pin. Go with a white pin. Uh, a red pin. And what is this? I'm not exactly sure what this is. It would be nice. Oh, maybe it's socks. Yep, it is. Alright, we'll go with red. And headgear. Oh. That is adorable. Okay, that does not look like it fits well at all. It fits right. 
Alright, so we need to get rid of the bow then if we go with the hat. And what do we got here? Cuffs. White cuffs. Okay. Look at that. We are ready. Hey there, good morning. Oh, okay, I have one gripe already. I wish that your character would have the same outfit that your when you change. That to me, this having it like this, where it's the default, it kind of takes me out of the game a little bit. But that's not that is not a negative. It does take me out of the game though. You must be Shinira, the Cupid that just moved in, right? Yep, that's me. Oh, look at this area. Welcome to Cupid Island. This is a magical island created in order to cultivate good feelings and help couples to live great love stories. Here is a great place uh, where dreams come true and any couple would love to live here. It's so romantic. All right, hold on. I got to. Okay, we gotta finish this dialogue. My name is Graysel, and I was sent to set everything up for your arrival here on the island and help you get used to the life here. I feel like the volume's a bit too loud, so. As you know, the other residents on the island are human couples. Come with me and meet them. Meet them. I'm not sure if I should talk with humans. Come on. I'm sure they'll love to get to know you. Alright, hold on. Uh, let's see. Quest, status, collections, options. Here we go. Turn that down. And we'll do this. And then that. And that's great. Oh. Can we... I should follow Grace and meet the humans. Okay. This, uh, Shadira, these are Sophia and Anthony, the first residents of the island. They've arrived yesterday and are just finishing their home moving. I remember them. They're the last couple I united with the Cupid Arrow in the human world. Hello, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay here on the island. Oh, I hope your stay here on the island is a most pleasant one. Let's get the show on the road. I am hyped to live here. Uh, hi. Thanks, guys. I'm pleased to meet you. I've told them your job here on the island is to take good care of them and help them live a beautiful love story with lots and lots of romance and joy. Y you did? Uh, are you sure my job here is to do all of that? I, I was told I just had to collect the love they produced. Ah, uh, love. You mean those beautiful energy orbs floating around the house? Yeah, that's it. They're essential sources of energy for us, angels, and to build everything here in heaven. It's a bit awkward to ask, but is it alright for you if I collect them, humans? No problem. It's important for you guys, right? We're glad to help. Uh, great. I'm glad you are fine with it. Uh, how do you collect love, Shadira? In my arms! There is a magical net that allows me to collect feelings generated by the human, called Empathy Net. I've lost mine when I moved here. Have you looked around the island? I bet it's around somewhere. I guess so. I'll take a look around. Look at this house. This house is absolutely adorable. We don't want to go rummaging in their stuff just yet. Uh, let's see here. So let's, oh, there it is. Look at that. Super easy peasy. Really. We got our net. Why can't I collect it? There we go. Da 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 da! Use it to collect feelings and other things. Bingo! That should help me collect love from the humans. I'll go back to their home and test it. Select the net on the inventory bar and press the right mouse button to swing it. The left mouse button here does nothing. Oh, I can. What if I can also catch a butterfly? Oh, I can! Oh! Yay! Sorry. I'm losing control here. Five love. Oh, they glow in hearts too! Neat. You've collected some love. Have you noticed that when you got it, Sophia and Anthony became happier? I feel cozy. Uh, a cozy, warm feeling in my heart. I've fallen in love with Anthony even more. Whoa! This net is really something. When you collect love from a couple's house, it helps in strengthening and developing their feelings. That's why you should come and collect it every day, so that their love may flourish. I get it. It makes sense. Since you're here, why don't you have some tea with us? I don't 
don't know if I should. Come, it'll be fun. I'll tell you some stories about my soccer team. Shadira and Graysel sat down and talked with the humans for a long time. A few hours later. Oh, it's getting late. I think I should go home and rest a bit. Alright, thanks for the company. Come back tomorrow and talk some more, yeah? Alright, let's talk to them right quick. See what they say. I'm super stoked about living here on the island. I know I'll have tons of fun here. I hope to have a very peaceful and romantic life with Sophia here on the island. Okay, so I have a slight concern. Uh, my character said that she was... The, the Cupid arrows were the last ones that she used on that couple. And now they're here in heaven. What the hell happened to them back on Earth? Should I go to sleep now? Yes. My first time talking to humans. I can barely believe it actually happened. Isn't that forbidden for us angels? I can't imagine my supervisor would be too happy if she found out about it. <laughs> the face is great. But they are pretty nice. I enjoyed their company. And everything went well on the job too. Thanks to Graysel. I'm sure everything will go well on my life uh, on my life here on the island. Could it be with my life? Uh, day... Oh, look at that. Ten produced. I need to collect more love. Humans produce love every day, right? I should pay them a visit. Oh, butterfly! Wait! Oh, can I catch this? Oh, that's travel. Hmm, maybe not. How do I access my inventory? A common bug. Yeah. I am a bug catcher. Give me your love. Excuse me. Oh, wow, look at them. They're all unpacked already. Isn't... It's fun to collect love, isn't it? But did you know there are other ways to improve a couple's affection? Giving gifts is an excellent way to do that. What kind of gifts? Food, clothes, accessories, even bugs. Almost anything can be a nice gift. But of course, you'll need to take the personality of whoever is receiving it into consideration. Everybody has their own preferences, right? Talk to everyone and find out the kinds of things they enjoy. Alright, I'll bring a gift to Sophia and Anthony as thanks for being the first residents on the island. Let's talk to them, see what they like. Sophia, talk. Anthony really enjoys nature. I think he'd enjoy a nature-related gift. So I'm going to bust out my handy-dandy notebook. I'm going to write down, it, even though it's just for the demo. Anthony equals nature, so maybe bugs. And let's talk to Anthony. A gift for me? You don't need to bother. But Sophia absolutely loves sports. Okay, so Sophia is sports perfect all right so let me see if i can give you a bug thanks this is pretty cool all right i need to go find an item for sophia i cannot gift you your own item that wouldn't be right where'd that butterfly go there you are i want to catch you wait no there you go gotcha Ooh, i got a cloud what? You can catch clouds? <gasps> Wait, what? What? I can just stand here and just... This is it. This, this is the rest of the video right here. We're just going to do this all day long. <gasps> that is amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do with that many clouds. Closed. Okay. Oh, what's this? What is this? Someone may have dropped it. I got an energy drink. A great, uh, great for practicing sh sports. Oh, look at that. There you go. I know exactly who to give this to. Hold on. Get that butterfly. The 
the fact that you just collect those clouds for days like that, that seems a little ridiculous to me. Gift, energy drink, here you go. Hey, this is pretty cool. Thank you so much for the hospitality, Shadira. You're so kind. Yeah, thanks a lot. Living on this island is awesome. Level one. Sophia and Anthony became closer. They have reached relationship level two. From now on, they will generate double the amount of love. They can also produce other positive feelings, such as joy and care. Now that the couple has reached level two, they, are more, they have more specific needs uh, that need to be fulfilled in order to level up again. Please do your best to help them. You can check their needs by accessing the pause menu or by inspecting their relationship sprout. Is this their sprout? Oh. Help the gentle and energetic couple experience good memories and improve the relationship. Collect the love, 80. Grow a flower garden, 6. Couple go on a date. Let's have a quick chat. If we built a stadium, what if we built a stadium so we could play soccer here on the island? That'd be amazing. I'd love to plant a few flowers and grow a garden close to our home. Would you help me with that? Absolutely. Did you know that everything here in heaven is made of good feelings? I've heard that you can even build anything you imagine using a certain device that converts feelings, but I've never seen one up close. Okay, well, we'll have to figure it out. I got a lot of butterflies. Gotcha. Uh, I want to enter this building. Uh, location closed at the moment. Please come back when there are workers. 9 to 5. Oh, well, it's 7. Oh, I guess we're really early. And what about this place? 9 to 9. All right. Let's see. Quests in progress. Complete. So we need more love. We need to grow a flower garden. But I don't know exactly how to do that. What does this do? I'm not allowed to leave Cupid's Island at the moment. Oh, okay. So I thought this area would uncover more. It is also we can just do this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that much. Uh, oh, it doesn't even... Cloud, that's all it says. Okay. Collections. Items. Cloud. Uh, not implemented yet, but we promise it'll be available in the full version. Well, until we figure out what to do. Oh, how long have I been working for? I'm tired to the bone. I need a good night's rest. I should go rest on my bed. I can continue working tomorrow. Oh, oh, the energy bar. Oh. All right, we're not gonna do anything. Uh, we're gonna wait till these doors open, see what happens. See what we can do to uh, get the plant stuff going. There she goes, there he goes. Oh, do you both run the stores? You know, I should have known. Ah. Alright, so what is my objectives? Hold on. Uh, quest. I gotta plant a flower garden. Okay. So we'll need a shovel. Uh. Grow seeds. do we gotta do six flower for a flower garden we'll do one uh, six roses and we'll come here uh okay so food stuff is here and a market uh all right so what we do next is we'll sleep yes Wake up for the next day. It'll be nice to explore more of the island today. I've noticed that there are a few obstacles stopping me from exploring the island. I wonder if Graceful can help me with that. All right, but first, we are going to... Can we rearrange our items? Oh, no, it looks like we can't. What about this way? Nope. That's uh, disappointing. All right, so you wanted your garden no, close to the house. Go. And we'll 
talk to uh, you. Hey there, Graceful. I would like to explore more of the island, but there are a few things in the way, like these shrubs. Could you give me a hand with that? I have a hammer that can break these obstacles right off. I'd love to help you with that, uh, but I'm kind of tired right now. Could you bring me something refreshing to drink? Oh, I should have bought the energy drink yesterday. Well, that's on me. I did not think about that. Oh, okay. And then we will we will talk. What if we built a stadium? All right. Uh, I'm gonna gift you a bug. What if I gift you a cloud? Thanks. Well, what if I gift you a cloud too? This may be useful. Five. All right. So I got ten out of him and five out of you for that. All right. Now we just gotta wait a little bit longer. There we go. They're both heading off to war. And I will buy an energy drink. Actually, I'm going to buy five. It's a bit much, but I feel it's kind of needed at this point. As far as this goes, I need to do some stuff for me. So, uh, potato seeds and wheat seeds. So buy three of each. with you again uh, would you like to give one energy drink yes yay I love this drink it's my favorite you know what you can keep the hammer use it to break obstacles you can break just about anything with a hammer but keep in mind it takes some energy don't pass out from overworking I will keep that in mind I should be using it to I should be using it to clear the island a bit but I think it'll be more useful to you than to me up this area and see what we got we got nothing here can we walk across the water no uh i think we can use also get wood right no we don't get wood out of it well we've opened up more of the island but it doesn't tell me exactly uh let me see quest here in progress okay that's it Alright, we are going to work on our crops here. So I'm going to plant some by my house. And then I'll place some on this side as well. We have no way to water them though. That's the only problem that we have here. Can we drink this? got three energy out of that. That seems very little. Okay. Clear out some of this stuff here. Alright. We will uh, head to sleep. joy uh 20 love 10 joy and 10 care between the, the uh, our loving couple oh look they're all growing well well shadira i finally found you oh superior hardwell S oh supervisor how are your duties come along are your humans generating proper amounts of love yet i'm trying to take good care of them ma'am they're they like living here on the island and having a great time as a couple that is not what I inquired. I asked you if they are already producing enough love. Remember, what is your duty here? Collecting love for the Angel Society. We need the energy generated by their love. Yes, ma'am, I'll keep focus. Come with me, I'll show you a way to raise your production making new couples. I don't want it. From now on, you are free to visit the human world again. Please follow me using the transportation cloud next to me. But don't forget to bring your magical bow. Leave it to me. I got something to do first, though. You can wait. I'm going to collect. I'm going 
to collect. Alright, and then we will give to you a energy drink. There we go, and for you, my friend, we're gonna give you a cloud. There we go. And then we'll interact with that. Look at that, 85 out of 80. Alright, we just gotta get the flower garden going, and to get them to go on a date. So before I do that over there, I'm going to wait until the store opens up. We're going to send them out on a date. And see, uh, see where this goes. There we go. Glad you're coming out to work. Uh, hold on. It's closed. Oh, nine. Oh my god, I gotta wait an hour? hour? Okay. I just don't understand how time works anymore. Clean out some shrubs first. Come on, you two. There you go. Look at that. Nine o'clock. You shoot. Look at that. Ten minutes late. All right. Uh, market pamphlet. I'll buy that. And I guess I'll give that to them later. But we have it. Follow me to the human world using this transportation cloud. Alright, travel. Yes. You leave your items, except for the magical bow, with the gray soul and travel to the human world. Here we are at the human world. As you may know, we are invisible to the humans here. Yes, we also can't talk to them. This is a good place for you to make new couples, hitting them with your cupid arrows. But remember, you cannot hit an individual human. There needs to be a couple chatting. Got it. And how do I make a couple chat? You just need to observe the human's behaviors and, quote unquote, help two humans to get together. Pay attention to what the people are doing. Some objects may draw their attention or make them change their walking trajectories. Do you see something like that? Try collecting, destroying, or changing some object's location in a way that makes two people get close to each other. Done. I see you haven't lost your edge. Thanks. Now, what is that thing that emerged from the couple I just made? When you make a new couple, they produced uh, a relation seed. It is a magical seed that represents the relationship of the new couple. Take it and follow me back to Cupid Island. I'll show you how it works. Here. I bet you that it's gonna go into the plant, uh, the plant, uh, the the plant potter plant thing in my house. I'll reward you with this very useful device. You got a feelings converter. It looks like a... Well, we all know what it looks like. Use it to make feelings based... Uh, use it to make buildings based on feelings. This is a feelings converter. It can be used to build houses and many other things. Build a house using it, and I'll show you how to cultivate a new couple on your island. Alright. It's going to take 60, but we only have 46 hearts, so... We cannot use this just yet because unfortunately we do not have the hearts for it right now so what we'll do is we will go to sleep right, head back out here and uh, oh hold on I need to get my stuff from Graceful Actually, Graceful, where is my stuff? Have you item? Do you want to take them back? Yeah, uh, I will take. Oh, this is how you organize it. Okay, good. You organize like this. Like that, like that. And then, uh, oh, wait, hold on. This, this, this. And then we'll go cloud, butterfly, energy, that, and that. Perfect. Uh, what do we have here again? A market. Yeah. 
speak with you. Gift you a can. Because that's what you love. I will gift you a... Actually, I want to gift you a... How much does that give you? Nope! I mean, it means you do that. Ten love. Alright. And then, uh... Oh, I can't give you the card! I have to do that tomorrow! Okay. That's fine. Um, let me see here. Build a house. So, build a couple house. Uh, I'll put the house... Great, please follow me to the, into the newly built house. And you can wait. Wow, it's empty. Do you see this little plant vase in front of me? And it is needed for you to bring a new couple to live here on the island. Select the relation, uh, relation seed you collected on the human world and plant it. Okay. There, from now on, you will have a new couple on your island. Take good care of them and make them produce lots of love. Remember, if you can go back to the, you can go back to the human world whenever you want to make new couples and bring them here. I'm going to add a few more options to the emotion converter as well. Use these options to keep your humans always happy and productive. Da -da -da -da. What have we got here? Hi, Audrey. You know, currently I don't have a place to work. Do you have any suggestions? Alright, please let me know if you have any job openings. Uh, but I can gift you an item right now. Thank you. Uh, I'll gift you a cloud as well. Oh, wow, you got double hearts. Thanks. Alright, so what else can we do? Oh, Asian restaurant, karaoke bar, and uh, ice cream shop. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to go with the ice cream shop right away. Where can we put that? Put it right here. Talk to you outside. Welcome to Angelino's shop. Would you like to buy something? <gasps> oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, this is this game's cute. But we're going to call this demo here. We don't want it to run on too long. But I do want to check one thing. Oh, excuse me, Grace. Come on, please. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, Grace. Grace! Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, what do we do with this? Can I... I wonder, can I put it in here? I can't seem to plant anything. Hmm, that's a shame. Well, I guess we'll have to figure that out later when this game is more released. But until then, my name is Clayton. This is Cupid Island. It is an absolutely adorable, cozy, cute game. If you like games like Stardew Valley, this is kind of like that. Uh, not exactly though, but it does raise some questions, like what are happening to these humans? Is our love arrows killing them and bringing them up here, or are we f taking the love that they have from Earth up here? Like, I had so many questions to unpack, but we're not going to get into it in this video. Anyway, wishlist it on Steam if you like it. I think it's cute. I am going to add it to my wishlist actually, because I do think it's cute. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out with Aloha. Have a great rest of your day.